We're Ryan and Brittany, and for the past 18 months, we've been sailing around the Caribbean after crossing the Atlantic almost two years ago. This week, we're continuing our journey through the beautiful British Virgin Islands as we make our way across to the east coast of the U.S. in time for hurricane season. And today, we're setting sail to the Baths at Virgin Gorda, a famous natural wonder featuring a maze of boulders and caverns leading to secret rock pools and the famous cathedral. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you too can come along with us for these awesome some adventures. All right, it's pretty, please. Without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. As you can see, we're listening to some music here on the boat. It's a beautiful sail. It's just so, so good. The water is so calm. It's crystal clear blue. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's so beautiful here. The flag's just flapping away, doing us proud. Hey, buddy. Brittany's sitting there happy. Jack, <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> Jack was the front chasing dolphins before, and there weren't even dolphins. I just yell it out, and he goes nuts. Dolphins! <laughs> no, not you, buddy. No, they're not there. I was joking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh man, so we're heading to the baths and uh, it's absolutely beautiful out here. Hey Brittany? Mm -hmm. Brittany's uh, eyeing out the baths now, they're just over there. Now the thing about the baths is that it's super busy, it's a real tourist destination. So we're probably going to drop anchor around the corner and then head there first thing in the morning so we can show you guys the real baths without all the tourists everywhere. We're going to anchor near the baths, going to settle in for the night there and then we'll go around first thing, 6am, we're going to hit up the baths, we'll grab a mooring ball, we'll go in there and we'll explore, it's going to be epic. Apart from that, the sail's just been close hauled almost the whole way. Once we got out of the channel earlier in the Leverick Bay area, we uh, yeah, just turned the corner, close hauled, we had about 10 knots of wind, we've gone about 5-6 knots. Uh, Occasionally the wind dies down and we go about two knots, but it's been a wicked sail apart from that. One of the best things about having a dog on board is it forces you to get off your boat no matter where you are. So many sailors we see rarely step foot on land and end up missing out on so many beautiful gems just off the tourist track, which can often be just as beautiful places as we see that draw the crowds from all around the world. This beach is a perfect example and yet it was completely empty, while right next door at the Baths it was jam-packed with tourists. And lucky that it was because it meant that Jackson had a chance to explore as well. So we're literally just at a bay just around a quarter from the baths and we're just gonna anchor here tonight and we'll go there in the morning. But this place is so beautiful and it's not even like a it's not even a destination, this little beach, is it? It's literally just a random beach before the baths because everybody goes to the baths. And uh, look at it, it's amazing. There's a person down the other end of the beach and Jackson keeps looking at him like he wants to go and, <laughs> and play. Sunset is one of our favorite times of the day and is so peaceful when you live on a boat unless you have a dog. Jackson keeping guard up there. Hey mate, making sure no one messes around Sunday. Yeah buddy, you told them, didn't you? <laughs> He's like, stay off my beach. It's so beautiful here, the sunset's amazing. I reckon this is probably the best anchorage you've been to, hey Brittany, so far? Most beautiful beach. Most beautiful beach, it is so beautiful. And uh, I actually wanna go back. <laughs> Nah, look, we're gonna have some dinner, uh, edit a few videos, hey, and get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be epic.
If you want to pay for these things, you go through the front door. If you go through the front, it's two bucks. You come from C, it's free. Brittany said, These are the things we do to save a buck. <laughs> yeah, it's literally like a dollar to get in. <laughs> nah, but I'm all serious though. This is the adventure of uh, boat life. Okay, so all jokes aside, we were actually there before they opened. And we were told when we checked in that our cruising permit also included free entry to the bats. So please don't go calling the cops on us. So guys, just remember we're doing all this backwards. So we're meant to walk down these stairs right now. We're going up. <laughs> So with all the places, I'm trying to find Brittany. She loves animals, she loves crabs, she loves everything. And I'm like, you're literally like a little crab. <laughs> In this little tiny crevice. Oh, all right guys, so all the other boats are starting to come in now and it's starting to fill up. So we're putting the cameras down, back to the boat. Some tourist spots just don't quite live up to the hype, but the baths at Virgin Gorda definitely did not disappoint. If you ever find yourself here in the British Virgin Islands, we highly recommend adding this incredible natural wonder to your bucket list. And just like that, it was time to pick up anchor and head across with our buddy boat over on Lady Aquitaine to our next destination. All right, so I'm actually just posting a reel for the first part of Ryan's Wit Sunday series. And I have to say, you guys are so funny. Because Ryan and I took two weeks off from videos, because you went back to Australia without me, because you're in the catamaran in the Wit Sundays without me, and we did a boat tour video. Everybody is messaging us asking if we're broken up, if we're selling the boat, if we're okay, what's going on. Don't worry everybody, we're fine. Yeah. Mom and dad are still together. And here we are in the BVI's baby. We're here, we're still here and Sunday's still ours. Yeah, and we're heading to the Bahamas. So don't get you guys worry, you're still gonna be seeing this pretty face. It is nice to know you guys worry about us yeah, though. Yeah, <laughs> thanks guys. Oh.
So we have like our original chain on the boat down there. And when we left, I guess it's just so old now that it went all rusty. And we put it all out the other day, we got rust all over here. So I'm just cleaning out the, the windlass again, which I actually did a month ago. I cleaned it and polished it. And now it's like full of just all the rust and stuff in the chain. So we're cleaning it out again, just a, you should be a yearly service, but it's a monthly service. <laughs> And uh, yeah, good to go again. Keeping the windlass fresh and clean with fresh grease. So I wouldn't advise doing this under sail. It's just that I clean this windlass like maybe a dozen times in the last four years. So it's like second nature now. <laughs> but if I lose one of these bits, it's gonna be a pain in the ass because I'm gonna go searching to try and, try and replace it. But here we go guys, servicing the windlass under sail. Now I have to admit that the British Virgin Islands was not at all on my list of places to visit. With a reputation of being a tourist trap and extremely overpriced, I just couldn't see the appeal. But it wasn't long after arriving, I began to understand why it draws so many cruisers every year. All right guys, so we made it. We had a beautiful, super calm sail. And we're just pulling into our anchorage now. And there's actually some dive buoys here. So we'll probably quickly drop anchor and maybe maybe dive in for a swim on those. In addition to the beautiful beaches and turquoise water, we also couldn't help but notice the sea life is thriving here in the British Virgin Islands. Take this amberjack for example. This was our first encounter ever with one his size, and it was so awesome to see that he had zero fear as he hung around our boat all day with us just cruising around. All in all, we've actually been pleasantly surprised how much the British Virgin Islands has to offer. And we can't wait to show you what's more to come. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to follow along our journey. We have a little bit of a plot twist coming up with our plans for hurricane season. Videos, please subscribe. Fell off the couch. <laughs> like and subscribe.